Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the brand new European Universe Stars 4 Iron Man series. Uh, the next season, if you will. And that is going to be to dismantle the Empire. Where you guys voted, we're going to be playing as Brandenburg. Um, haven't really planned any of this. I'm literally just uh, off the cuff in it. Oh, for fuck's sake. Click, thank you. Brandenburg. Berg. LP. Let's do it. So, um, the real to the target for this is to literally just dismantle the like the uh, HRE. That is the um, the achievement I'm going for. Like the, that's the one I have in mind. Anything else that happens is a win. There's no other things I expect to do. Um, but anything else is a win. Uh, Fuck you, not fuck it. Bohemia, you can get fucked. And Pomerania. Um, Austria. Good. So that's the strong opening we need. An alliance with Austria will uh, guarantee us. The only problem is, I think, if an alliance with the Emperor means we can't attack anybody in the Empire. It's been a while since I've been in the Empire, so I don't remember. Right, so. We play, play today. That's all we needed to play. Um... Right, for now, we just need to build ourselves ourselves up to force limit. Uh, we'll go with two more. We'll go with three more infantry, I'd say. Uh, the Kingdom of Italy. Good for um, humiliate rival. Okay, no, we can still declare war on uh, these assholes. Brunswick. Um, for now, that you could prove useful. Not typically an opening move I'd, I'd, I'd really do, but for now, keeping people uh, allied with me is definitely going to be the good thing. Now, we're gonna, we've got the build the force limit done. Good. Uh, so, what's this? Reclaim Newmark. Now, normally I'd go for an alliance with Poland and try and keep the Polish Lithuanian uh, group on my uh, back, or oh, like behind me. But for now, I'm think I'm going to think for, I'm going to like play for close alliances and we'll. Uh, Close alliances that we could t then turn into um, kills. Uh, so, you know, if like, oh, wait, we've got another thing done. And that's the Imperial Ambition done straight away. I have two oh, we have two electors backing us, apparently. Myself and Saxony. Now, I don't intend to get voted. I don't intend to become the Emperor because I believe once I'm Emperor, then I definitely can't attack my people inside my land. Or people inside the Empire, because but it has been a long ass time since I've played in the Empire. Uh Hollows this the Chancellery. Um Um We'll go with a new one, why not? A new Pope? Well the Popes don't like me, so I'm not really fussed. Taking Newmark, we can either... We don't start with a core on it, that's weird. I thought we did. Interesting. The only ally they have is the Livonian Order, but we know for a fact that um, the Sonic Order is slightly stronger than me. How strong is Pomerania? Pomerania is at 7. And the voting order is at 10. So that's 17,000 men we'd have to fight if we decided to try and war deck the uh, Pomeranians without support from an ally. I don't know what we're going to do just yet, but we'll see. I could try the opener of... Okay, the opener of Mecklenburg's definitely gone. The opening of Lunenburg's gone. Uh, Magdeburg and... Magdeburg is the best opener we've got other than Pomerania. Gonna, I'm going to pursue that as well. I'm going to build a spy network there. Um, they are in... Actually, no, they're not even that good of a lead, lead either. Because they're in too many um, situations. You two already declared war on each other. Jesus Christ, didn't take long. Now, uh, offer a hundred gold. Okay, so we're in debt. 
But if I turn off my men, uh, turn off my income, life might be a little bit easier. And I've just realized I still haven't got those buttons yet. Now well, we'll figure it out later. I'm really not worried at this point. So we are in debt. Um, not really something I'm fussed about. Uh, oh, no. So how much? Okay, we took two debt loans out. Two loans is a little bit more than I was hoping we'd take out, but so be it. It happens, and uh, we got Newmark with a little with no fight, which is a bigger win than you know having to fight for him. Right now, all we need to all we need to do is focus on getting our loans paid off. Once our loans are paid off, we can start our uh, we can you know do a little bit more. Once we've uh, owned once we own Pomerania. Then we can begin the Prussian expansion. That's where Poland is going to become problematic. Poland right now does control Lithuania. So they are a very valuable ally indeed. We don't need to spy on um, Pomerania anymore. But we're going to continue to do so just because, well, why not? Why not indeed? They do have multiple allies which could prove... To be an issue um i'm not overly worried i'll admit but you never can be too sh you can never be too sure all it takes is one simple little wall and we will take these assholes out now i'm obviously going to try and keep myself let's see when if mecklenburg can be attacked at some point now we could support our air here um don't don't really see a point in it right now because I'm, I'm honestly hoping we get a von Habsburg on our throne purely because if we get a von Habsburg then we've got a chance of getting the um, Austrians in our uh, mitts which should be really good for us it's a really good uh, early game as well so we've got three allies all we need to do is watch catch their eyes at war or get Polish support. Polish support would be ten fa it would be ten favours and we take three it take thirty years to get those favours we need. Which by all accounts is a long fucking time. There will be another chance. We just need to uh, find it. Chances come along often enough. Trustworthy allies? Good the quicker we smash these missions out, the better as well. Because then we're obviously gaining benefits quicker. Right. I mean, if just if Saxony would help us, or Brunswick, that would be enough to, um, you know, attack Pomerania successfully. Because we should be able to nuke, uh, well, like, take out Pomerania's army in the space of a month, if that... I can actually pay for my men as well. We don't earn as much money that way, but at least I'm ready for war at all times. Uh, I would get a general, but I'm going to try and hit my tech straight away. Now, they already have corruption, which means they don't need to spend money on that. But we're not really in a position to declare war on them just yet. We've grown, so at least we, I mean, we've grown, which is already better than it could have been. We'll have to piss off the, uh, we'll have to do that. We'll call a die, just shut them up. Altmark, apparently. You're with Denmark. Did you attack them? The Danish cons conquest of Osel. Osel, 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 Osel. That's not a Pomeranian province. Osel. I don't know who the fuck. I can't believe I didn't know who that was. Um, this seems like the perfect time. Who, who's, who's at war with who? I honestly don't know who has the lower end then. But all we have to do is wait for someone at uh, Livonia to not want to be in the war, and this war could be beneficial, shall we? Shall we say? 
All I want is... Well, I want complete annexation of them. Which, in terms of... Ah! I remember one of the things. One of the things is a coalition map mode. Yeah, it was that one. So I'm just missing whatever's there now, but I don't remember what it is. So we have max manpower. We're ready for we're ready for any fight right now. We just need the Livonians, and well, just it will just be the Livonians to not be uh, wanting to, you know, join. Verdun and East Frisia should be shouldn't provide enough men to be a problem. Admittedly, like I said, an ally, uh, allies in this war would be the best thing for us. And possibly what we're going to have to do, wait for. But, I mean, that's a, I mean, if we wait for them, we wait for them. Hopefully, Denmark does, just doesn't decide to take land from them. If they do, we, we're going to have a problem. And it won't be the best start to let, uh, the Let's Play if it happens. It does look like the Danish have overrun them. This could end well for me. They could... Uh, break all of their alliances. They didn't. They left them completely and utterly. Wow. How many men do the Pomeranians have now? Pom. 1,000. So Livonia, all you need to do is refuse to help them, and this will be this war will be fine. Actually, let's cut you in half, and then cut you in half again. One there. One there. You you there. Cut you in half. Because we need to get these regions first. Shouldn't take long for Pomeranian not to want to be in the war. Sorry, Livonia not to, to not want to be in the war anymore. Unfortunately, by then, Pomerania could have an army again. But I don't want to risk being at war with... Um... Oh, you're at war with Poland as well. How do you still have the... air? it is. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is where we take our uh, attempt. Right, so, so far, we there we are again. There are more of them than there are of us, admittedly, at the moment. You go there. You go there. There we go. Right, the main part of the plan has been executed pretty much perfectly. Now, we will be gaining a coalition because of this. Because I don't, I'm not taking less... So, if we took, actually, if we clear the or offer... Say if I took those two... They made them my... I'd say that would probably be the best. I'd rather just annex him, though, to be honest. It is more expensive, admittedly, but it is a better deal, shall we say. Now, currently, they have 11,000 men, and I have 11,000 men. So, at the moment, we're in a position where it's, well, when shouldn't be there shouldn't be a problem, essentially. Sieges are as fast as they can be with our um, infiltration of their network. Not, the, not as fast as I would like them, but they're fast enough. The Renaissance, beautiful. We are uh, embracing part of the Renaissance, which is good. All that matters is we quickly take these guys out and build our navy to max so I can get one of the achievements I didn't get in the last run. Which is maxing out your naval force limit. Right. Now we could merely stand here and wait. I'm not really the waiting sort. But that's, that's something we could do. Now if we were not going to get tactics from this tech, I would have uh, already used my... Military points to grab myself, um, what's it called? A general. How good's our lord? His heir is shitter than him, so we'll, uh, give my heir a military command. I'd say I'm upset that he died, but I'm really not. His, his brother isn't much, or his, his, the, uh, his replacement isn't much better than him, but at least militarily he's good. Yeah, so we need to take over the... We need to perform Prussia. That's the first job. 
Now, I could go for Stade. Admittedly, I'd be worried. I wonder. Can I have electric access for you? Purely because this war is important, I'm going to give myself a general. Right, so are you wanting out of this war, my friend? Blood. Right, so Pomerania still doesn't want out. And they're down to 6,000 men. Thank you, Ludeberg. You proved uh, to be useful. All we need to do now is get Oldenburg, access for Oldenburg and we can... Uh, Take out the asshole I want to the last of them. Once he's gone, this war is over. Unfortunately, though, East Frisia isn't going to be as simple, apparently. They wish to continue to fight. Which is, of course, their decision. Not a smart decision, I will admit, but it's their decision to make. Pomerania will, of course, end this war with me. saxe Lübeck, Lübeck, Hamburg are going to be instantly problematic. Though my alliances should prove to wash any issues away. Now, our improved relations is nowhere near high enough, and we're going to have to go for diplomatic ideas very early on. To uh, perform, to, 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 to do what I need to do, we're going to need to go for that very early. Apparently, Anhalt is doing better than me with Saxony. What the fuck? Saxony, we're meant to be brothers in arms here. How can I be your, how can we be brothers in arms if you're not going to vote for me? I don't even want to be emperor, but I want you to vote for me. So... You know, if uh, Sac if Sac if East Frisia wants me to siege them, I'm gonna siege them. I'm gonna take some war reps from them as well. You know, what? fuck it, we'll ignore corruption because right now that's, in my opinion, better than uh, what we uh, what we could be doing. Or better than um, you know, losing uh, admin when we very much need admin at the moment. All of my techs level 4, which means we should be green. Yep. Good, 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 good. Taking in Pomerania is going to be a really big fuck you to everyone. If I thought I could have them as a vassal successfully, I, would, I wouldn't I would risk taking so much aggressive expansion. Like, what's the worst promises out of these ones? Let's, let's just let's have a look at this. Uh, like, uh, make sense, sensically. So if I dropped those two and then vassalized them... People would be pissed off, but if I did this smartly, smart, everyone would tick over and no one would be upset with me. It would be a hell of a lot. You know what? I think I'm going to go for it that way. And I'm going to ignore their... Now, this is not a perfect plan, ladies and gentlemen. You know what? This won't... No, 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 you're not. It's not worth risking. Because if anyone decides to suddenly support them, I've got problems. I don't like having problems. Do you know what? They can fuck off. If people want to be pissed off at me for a year, my alliances should guarantee my safety. If not, we'll just have to start again. Ah, oh, well. This empire will be dismantled. And that is uh, that's just how it is. We're at max, we're hitting, yeah, we're already at 12. So at this point, we just have to wait for the 29% ch uh, chance to work. And our... We are going to have a long-ass Regency. This is Regency's going to hurt as well. Okay, at this point, just end the fucking war. Right. We gain 10 legitimacy, so I'm not going to hit that for a while. Because I'm, I'm going to need that legitimacy soon. We need a new rival. We'll wait and see who rivals me. We'll play it by ear for now. So, Magdeburg still wants a coalition against me. 
I wouldn't say it's the smart. I would not say it's the smartest thing that they could have done, but I'm not going to judge. What I am going to do is make sure I'm still hitting my maximum units by grabbing myself another two infantry. Keeping my force limit at max is pretty much going to be the main way to keep people uh, off my back. For now, I'm going to spend all my diplomats on improving my alliances. Because coalitions may be inbound, but they're not going to want to coalition me for too long with my uh, the people behind me. The Brandenburg, uh, sorry, so some of these people should leave soon. But uh, ladies and gentlemen, it doesn't matter. At the moment, this part has been over. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I hope you guys will continue to enjoy the series. I'll see you guys next part. See you guys then.